Hi everyone, today I'm looking at the Stedler Fine Liners. These guys are light fast, waterproof and apparently you can leave the cap off for up to 18 hours without them drying out which is pretty cool. So um, this is part of the video series I'm doing this week where I'm challenging myself to do one video a night testing out new materials. I'm also using the Handbook Journal Co sketchbook which I go into more about in yesterday's video so I'll pop the link below. So the reason I really wanted to try these pens out was for this chisel pen here which has like a really cool chisel lid. I'm not really sure if you can see it very well there but it basically gives you a whole bunch of different variations of line so you can kind of twist the pen and you can get different thicknesses which is pretty cool and the rest of the pens are kind of like your regular sizes that you get in most fine liner sets. So then I thought I would test out the pens using different materials. So popping the pencils on top of it. Obviously the, the ink is like way more opaque than the pen still, but I thought that would just be a test. Then the Copic marker and uh, I took the lid off and there was a moth inside so it kind of scared me. I don't know how a moth got inside the Copic marker lid, but it was there. So this did smudge a little bit in the top there, but I think that's because I didn't let the ink dry long enough so I think that wouldn't be a problem otherwise and then I try watercolor on it and it is waterproof and then I made some like other little marks with the pens um right at the bottom there it, you can see the chisel tip makes some really cool like marks kind of like calligraphy Chinese ink brush marks um this paper is quite thin so the pen does go through to the other side And then, as I'm doing every night, I use my 365 days of sketching sketchbook to do a little warm up. So I thought I would go back to doing a building, which I did a couple of days ago, and I wasn't very happy with it. So I used this little warm up sketch, which is kind of like themed. It's like a little building. And I love adding all these little like bits. I'm not really happy with the building shape though, but all the little like satellites and stuff were fun. And then I added some watercolour and this paper is definitely not good for watercolour so I wouldn't recommend it which is really annoying because the next page is swatches and I was hoping to swatch some watercolours on it. So yeah like I said before I am doing a building today. This is the Newton Chambers building that I saw in Birmingham last couple of weekends ago um, and I took a picture of it. It was a really skinny alleyway so it's kind of like a looking up perspective and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I popped it on the page in this angle because it wouldn't fit any other way and I think it looks kind of fun. So for the sketch here I'm using the 0.1 liner for almost everything. Um, I did do some pencil sketches before with the Prism Color Color Raise Color Raisable Pencil. Oh, that's such a mouthful. Um, mainly because the perspective was quite tricky on this one so I wanted to get it right. And I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So the building in real life is like super ornate and has lots of little fiddly um, bits everywhere and kind of like carvings and stuff but I left all that out and just did the main shapes. And then I'm going in on the kind of left side and the underside of everything to look like it has some shadow. And I found these pens really nice to use. They're really black. They are quite smooth on the page. Um, I normally have quite a heavy hand so I press quite hard and sometimes the nibs go on fine liners like the Copic liner, Copic multi liners especially I noticed I break the nibs a lot so these ones are quite sturdy and also they didn't smudge at all which was nice because I tend to like go over my drawings a lot with my hand so these were unsmudgeable from what I could see. And then this is the finished line work. So it's not perfect, but it's just a little doodle to test out the equipment. And I really need to get back into practice in buildings because I love drawing them. And right now my hand is really hesitant. So a lot of the marks come out a little bit wibbly wobbly. So I thought I would test out some watercolor on the pages because it says this sketchbook is, it can take light watercolor and I wouldn't recommend any watercolor. I'm using the um, Kurosaki Gansai Tambi 
watercolors which are really forgiving normally and you can lift them up a lot but on here they literally soak into the paper like as soon as you put it on and then there's no chance of even of moving it around or anything um you can tell straight away as soon as you put any watercolor on the page that the page just buckles so i definitely wouldn't recommend watercolor But I quite like how it looks. It's a rainbow building. Um, the photo I took was super overexposed, so this is kind of actually what it looks like in my photo, but in real life it's made from like a red clay. And I'm just going in with um, a bit of pencil to add some shading. This was meant to just be to look at the liners, but it ends up being like a mixed media piece. And then I thought it would be kind of cool if I shaded in the sides in black, so you just focus on the building. But I, when I was faced with all of that black, I was like, dude, gotta add some white dots, right? Because that's what you do. And then once I added the white dots, I was like, I gotta add some black dots now. So then I add some black dots. And actually, I think it looks pretty cool. It gives the building a little bit of texture. And it looks a little bit freckly. So that is the finished piece. Just a quick sketch tonight to look at the liners and also the handbook journal code. It doesn't take watercolor for the future reference. So tomorrow I think I'll be looking at washi tape and making an image with that. So pop back if you like that kind of thing. Thanks again for watching. Bye.